All right, today we are actually gonna to going to cover all the lefty gloves that I have in my collection. So a little while ago, I bought a bunch of lefty gloves off of one guy. I paid something like 350, I think 350 for all of them. And there's like 14 gloves, so it was, it was a good price and I'm slowly just kind of selling them off. <clears throat> now, if you're not lefty, I actually just recommend staying throughout the video because a bunch of them are actually kind of interesting gloves. Um, they're not just 8,000s and Heart of the Hides. Um, I have some less used brands and so it's interesting to look at them there's no particular order except for the first one is going to be the worst one and then the last two are going to be my two personal favorites and like gosh i wish they were right-handed gloves i wish i were at least lefty or something because they're awesome gloves hold up wait a minute something ain't right we hit a thousand subscribers which is insane because that was so fast i have a plan where I was going to get a denim 44 glove at 500 and we did that and I ordered it and it's on the way and I'm so pumped as soon as I get it we'll have a video on it but in the last 28 days we have had like 752 subscribers we're growing fast so it is awesome thank you so much you guys rock and I invite you guys to hop on board if you're not subscribed but like I said we're going to look at all the lefty gloves I have I have 12 gloves that we're going to look at like I said the first one is the worst one. I'm gonna show you it just because it's not as high quality as the others. And then the others are pretty much all pretty even. The last two, actually last three, are nicer. Like really nice. Nice. So the first one, you've seen it before actually in one of my other videos, is this Roy Hobbs glove. This thing is actually, it's kind of fun. It's just a small little glove. It's 11 and a half, actually 11 and a quarter lefty mitt. Um, you typically just don't see that because it's a small infielder's glove, but uh, for a lefty. This thing kind of feels like a Nakona, and so yeah, it's pretty interesting. It's similar to the Shoeless Joe gloves where they're like supposed to be old. Whoever had it before painted some of it blue. Next glove, this Louisville Slugger Pro Flare. I used to game a Louisville Slugger, and so I definitely love this thing. It's awesome. It is actually, specifically, it's the Louisville Slugger Silver Slugger Pro Flare. It's mesh in back. And yeah, feels great. Guy broke it in. The guy who broke in all these gloves actually did a great job and he like takes care of his gloves, which just makes me so happy. Like you can tell none of them were sitting around um, just on their side because this is like a used and beat up glove. Like it was used a lot clearly, but it still holds its shape. And so that just makes me happy. Here we go, here's this SSK, it's SSK Pro. This thing feels good. A Little bit softer of a leather, sort of like a Gold Glove Elite. Um, comfy, feels nice. It's like a 12 inch pitching web. I do like the look on it. It has that like uh, Derek Jeter <clears throat> Pro DJ 2 type look where it's just black, split gray welting, tan laces. It's a beauty. We'll look at the heart of the hides that I got. Here's this, this one's really nice now. So this one was used, broken in clearly, um, but it got relaced. And so it's a Pro 200 4JB, 11 and a half inches, you know, little pitching glove, and it was relaced. And so, you know, that's me squeezing like as hard as I can. Um, this thing's like a rock actually right now. It is, it's a rock, it's, it's super stiff. So it definitely needs work to be broken in. Now, here it is, it's red everywhere. I think it's, it's either black or like navy blue split welting. But, um, look at that. I don't even know what that is. Don't know what the flag is. But, uh, the patch is cool. It's like got the, um, the colored logo on the patch. So that's pretty sick. It's like red, white, and navy blue, it looks like. And then the thumb says Dermody. Maybe the guy's last name. I don't know. But yeah, this one's 11 and a quarter. So this dude liked small gloves, but... This one too, worn two in the pinky. Um, also worn just like traditional, it looks like. A little bit of both. I mean, these heart of the hides are just tanks. I am a huge fan of them. I really like the way this guy broke his gloves in because it's pretty darn similar to me. I flare the pinky a little more than he does, but, um, but I love the look of it and the feel of it. I just, having all these makes me wish I was just lefty because that would be so sick. And then here's the other heart of the hide. Now this one, he customized himself a little bit. It looks like the whole glove used to be gray. Just like this color is here. It was gray everywhere. And he, um, I guess, painted it red. And to be perfectly honest, 
he didn't do a great job. Now, if you're just looking at the glove from here, like say I was pitching, you would have no clue. But when you look at the glove, you can definitely tell that something was done to it. <clears throat> now you can see the American flag still looks good on there. And then he's got the name on the thumb. And so yeah, but the glove itself feels great. Just another solid heart of the hide, but it comes with just the kind of sloppy paint job. So it's kind of sad, but it is what it is. And if you're just looking for a cheap glove, um, and you don't care what it looks like, you just need like a junk glove, like a rainy day glove. That's like what I would use this for. If I was lefty, I would just keep this because that's what I would use it for. I actually have another glove that I used to use that for. Let's see this one. I actually like this one quite a bit. It is a Reebok VR 6000 Premier Series. I like the look of it, just like that camel blonde color. Um, this thing, it's, it's not as nice as like a heart of the hide. It really isn't but it's not much worse. Um, it's definitely just, it's not like pro leather, it's like high school leather. And so for a cheap glove, this is actually great. If you're just in high school looking for a pitcher's glove, um, I would recommend this, it's, it's nice. And um, this one specifically has not been used at all. Like this is just brand new, you can see, I mean, just like hasn't been used. All right, here we go. This one's a Nike glove and I was glad to have this one because I've just never seen any Nike gloves in person before I got this. And it's a Nike Pro Gold Tradition. I'm actually impressed with the leather. Um, it used to have a finger hood on it, and he ripped it off, which I'm always mind blown. Why does anyone do that? The same way that Heart of the Hides feel like they're just never going to break, that's what this feels like. That is if you don't have an oiled Heart of the Hide. An oiled Heart of the Hide feels way softer than a normal Heart of the Hide. But, like, this thing feels like it would last forever. And so I really am, like, impressed by it. Nike Pro Gold Tradition. I actually like them in front of Here's a Nike Pro Gold Tradition, but this one is actually like oiled leather. So it's like black and it's oiled and you can just tell just by the feel of it, it's much softer. And so it still feels thick and durable, kind of like this one, but it's just softer. Um, more like if you've ever felt an oiled part of the hide, um, that's what it feels like. This one's 12 inches. Um, I'm actually a pretty big fan of these T-Webs. Um, I have like three, yeah, I have three like right there. Oh, four, one over there too. I'm a big fan of them actually, I like them a lot. And so I think a big reason I liked it was it felt good um, in middle infield and then I also pitched a lot and so it was a good pitcher's web as well. But yeah, you can see this one here, it's nice. And yeah, both these Nikes don't have any um, names on them so that's always a plus. Now here we go, this one is a third to last one. I like this one a lot. I like you a lot. Now this one hasn't been used like at all and it's a really nice glove. I love the feel of it, but there's one horrible thing about it. So check it out. I love the look of it. I love these finger stalls. They're awesome actually, but just I'm gonna kill myself! It makes me so angry when I see that. But this thing actually does feel great. It feels like more like a kip where it's like thinner and harder, but it's just steer hide leather still. It's just sad. Hello darkness, my old friend. Now these last two, I can't decide which one I like more. So I'm just gonna show you this one first. This Wilson A2000 first basement. Oh my goodness. Now this thing's just unused. Um, I've put like a very minor amount of wear into it just by like playing catch in the yard. And um, just cause it's not like super stiff so you can just kind of squeeze it, you know? but it has absolutely no pocket. Um, I played catch with it like once or twice, just, and I mean, I'm not lefty, so <laughs> it really wasn't very competitive catch. All right, let's start like five feet away. Ugh. This thing's just got really classic look to it. It is gorgeous. I actually found this at Goodwill. I bought it for 50 bucks at a Goodwill. Um, and so that was just super awesome because that's a rare find. My brother actually bought a brand new Rawlings Pro 1000 BC one time. If you don't know what that is, you can take the time to look it up. Um, but it's just an older Rawlings Heart of the Hide and it was so gorgeous. I should have bought it off of him because it was such a nice glove. And he found it brand new at Goodwill and it was, it was it still held its shape and everything. And he just, how, who gave that to Goodwill? I just wonder. But yeah, this thing's gorgeous. I totally, totally, totally wish that this was just a righty glove because I would keep it for sure but anyway yeah this one yeah I think it is my favorite 
this Easton Professional is just so nice. Just look at the logos. It's got the old school logos. Easton doesn't really use that logo anymore. Easton on that middle finger. And holy cow, I like that web. It's like a two-piece basket web. It's pretty cool. You guys, this is like the softest, most buttery glove I've ever felt. And so I actually haven't listed this on eBay yet because I just want to keep it. But I probably shouldn't because I'm not going to be able to use it. It's brand new. I mean, you could see, I mean, the tag's still on there. You look at the palm, it is clean. And that liner, it's so nice. It, it, it just feels great. That's what I'm talking about. So anyway, I love this thing. It's a beauty. It might be like a pro issue because it feels phenomenal. I've had other Easton Professional gloves and this one is just like totally far beyond the other ones that I've owned. I don't know what they did, but this thing is an absolute beauty. That's all the gloves that I have though. So thank you for watching. I'll get my next video up as soon as I can and stay healthy, I guess. Is there anything else? Thanks for 1,000 subscribers, guys. I know it was because of me. You're the hero.